All right, welcome back to Mic Up or Shut Up. We're uh, episode three, rolling right along. Uh, I'm Chris, here with my wife Angie, my sister Reagan, and my brother-in-law Bodie. Big dog, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me big dog. I like it when people call me that. Got a hell of a show for you today. <laughs> oh, we, can't, we can't be riffing off. We can't be riffing no. off on the podcast yet. Yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. I guess I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I guess the first topic you uh, said you wanted to talk about is uh, the crazy language that kids use nowadays. Oh, if you could call it language. Well, you know, you know, I have many kids. I yes, have, I, I, I do have, know that. I, I do that. Uh, yeah. At one time, I thought you were going to start a farm. Right, right. <laughs> and just start growing them. I wonder if I can sell them. I wonder if you can make money doing that. Actually, you can, but we can't talk about that <laughs> oh, on the podcast. Oh, that, well, it, I mean, it's on the internet, isn't it? Oh, that's the black internet. Or No, not black internet. Black web. <laughs> Dark web. Man, I'm messing this up, man. <laughs> We're going to call this episode, Try Not to Get Canceled. Right. Episode right. three. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't mean the black internet. I meant the dark web. <laughs> Can you explain that to people in I, reality? I think you have to say African American. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so not what I meant. My gosh. Terrible. Anyway, my kids are all teenagers, and they speak a different language. When you walk around and listen to two of them talking to one another, you can't understand what they're saying. Somebody will say, and they make up their own words. The words are brand new. It's mid and bussin' and no cap or stop capping or what you said the other one was yeet. Yeah, yeet. Yeah, my, my brother uh, texted me one day out of the blue. I, I didn't have his uh, cell phone number. So, he, so when he texted me, I didn't know who it was. And the text message was simply yeet. So I responded back with, who the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, see, if you were a young person, your response would have been, new phone, who this? <laughs> that is true. I send that response all the time. It's funny. It's great. So what is Yeet? What, 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 what was this message intended to mean? I don't actually. I, I still to this day don't know why he texted me that first rather than, hey, what's up? Or, hey, this is your brother. I don't know. I guess he thought he was being funny. I don't know. But yeet means to pick something up and throw it. Oh. Yeah. Which is very easy so, to infer. And that's the only so, word that he sent to you in the text message. Well, the word I yeet. mean, that was, the, yeah, the first one, yeah. Okay. It was just yeet. Okay. Yep. All right. <laughs> Maybe he was excited to, for you to throw the text message or he wanted to throw you a message. Maybe, Maybe that's, that's what he meant, yeah. What? So, so. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I'm all responsive. And yeet to you also. Except, you know, oh, yeah. like that. Right, what could you re right. reply to that? Yeah. But there's, there's, there, there's like scripted replies. So if someone says to you, like you say a fact, just state a simple fact, right? The sky is blue. And the other person says, for real? And then in response to the for real, you have to say, on God. <laughs> okay. So it's scripted that way. And what that means is the sky is blue. Oh, is it really blue? Yes, I swear. <laughs> and that's what that, that interaction basically means. On God, for real, bussin'. What's bussin'? What is bussin'? Bussin' is when something's really good. It's really delicious. Like it slaps. Kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> kinda like <laughs> chef's kiss. They say chef's kiss a lot, too. Do they really? I, yes. Well, I say chef's No, kiss. I thought that was your husband. I say chef's kiss. <laughs> yeah, I, he does, I, just, whole I do say he that. Does say that. Teenager, he does say that, but he watches YouTube a lot, so. <laughs> you realize there's a French saying for that. It's a mousse bouche. No. That that means chef's kiss in French. What? Yeah, I don't speak French. Wow. Well, does it really? Yes. I thought a mousse bouche was like one little bitty spoon full of food. Or yeah, something. it's a chef's kiss. I'm not kissing no chefs. <laughs> what the hell? This is when you go, je ne peux pas français, je parle anglais. That's when you just start rattling off. But yeah, it's it's a whole another language, and they speak a different one, and it's you, you just can't understand it. When we were in that age group, when we were younger, which was decades ago, we used our own words, like bad. And when you said something was bad, like these shoes I have are bad, it just meant that they were good. You know, they were they were nice. They were hot. But now they make new words. Zip zap and whizzer 
and cap. <laughs> and pressure. It's a whole new language that they created. And it's it's funny to listen to because I just, I laugh. I just get giggles, you know, when I hear them speaking. I have never felt more old no. than I do right now. Because I don't know what any of those words mean. Right? And neither do I either. I really don't. I had to ask my daughter for a list of them to tell me what they were and what they mean. And I still don't comprehend it. But she gets the biggest kick out of when I text her back stuff. Like, she'll say, Dad, I'm going to school tomorrow at 6. I'll say, bust it. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she's like, Dad, that's not how you use that word. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> it's just it's an old people thing, you know. Yep. It's something that we do. The English language, that's an old people thing. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yes. It is. Hey, you know what's crazy? 100%. You know what's crazy? They no longer teach cursive in school because they said they don't need it anymore which makes me wonder why did we need it wait wait no i got better than that because they no longer teach cursive these kids don't have actual signatures they yeah, write their name printed. oh i never thought about that yeah you, you, nobody knows how to sign their name with a signature they literally just print. spell their name yeah wow it's crazy yep not only that, when we were, and I don't know, it goes back and forth so often. I don't know if Pluto is a planet or not a planet. At this current time, and it's is a it a dwarf, planet? It's a dwarf planet, and it's no longer considered an actual planet. Because it did go from when I was in school to a planet. Yep. And then it was a star, and then it went back to a planet. So nobody really knows what it is. It's really kind of a conundrum. That's a good word. <laughs> that most kids won't know. Right, conundrum. Well, it's got, I will always consider it a planet because if you do not, then it doesn't make sense to say my mother just served us nine. That's right. I need the pizzas. No, that's yeah. right. She just served Him us does. eight. She just served us eight pizzas. Wait, did we start speaking a new language? No. No, you know, it was an Anna. My mother just served us nine. Nine perfect pizzas, I think. Perfect or something pizza. like no, that. No, nine pizzas. You know, it was just nine pizzas. Yeah. yeah, it was to it was no, to learn. Are you people talking it was, about. It was the it's the, the first the letter planet. of every planet oh. from the sun out is the sentence you use yeah. to remember. Oh, it was my very educated mother. That's what it was. Yeah. My very educated mother just served us nine pizzas. So it was my it was Mars, Mercury, Venus, yeah, yeah. Mars. Yeah, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, my very educated mother. Wow. But the sentence doesn't make sense if you take off Pluto. Oh, so my mother very something something perfect. My very educated uh, just mother. perfect. Right. There's no pizzas. Correct. She just served us nine if you take off Pluto. Neptune. Right. Because right. there's no Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> right. your, look, your look of confusion just served was great. Us nine. <laughs> you see the smoke <laughs> coming out of my ears. <laughs> trying to, well, you should have heard yourselves because I had no idea. We never used that. We actually learned the names of the planets. Oh, we learned them too. This was just a way to <laughs> remember them. We didn't learn them. our mother made some pizzas. Or nine pizzas or whatever it was. We just served. Made. She didn't make them. She served them. Served them. <laughs> Rabbit hole. Yeah. Rabbit that, hole. That was a hole. All I know is I had a joke about cursive writing being a spy. Oh, I'm sorry. And you ruined it talking right. about your she damn did. planet. She said that they uh, print Stepped all over my joke. That's she all right. Did it. So oh, I'm, wait. I'm not even going to say it. It's not going to work now. Well, I got to hear so, it. No, I, was, hear I don't it. know. What was it about cursive? I was going to say you could, you know, you could be a spy nowadays because you could write you can just straight up write each other letters in cursive and telling you exactly what you need to do and just oh, hand it yeah. and they wouldn't even it's know that yeah it would be a now. secret code yeah yes we don't even need a coder ring That's because right. we learned it a decoder ring <laughs> they used to have those in cereal why don't cereal boxes have toys anymore for real yeah. on god <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but let me tell you, in a way, I'm glad because when we were growing up, they did have stuff in cereal boxes, and somebody, I'm not pointing to the guy on my right, always got to the cereal first and actually got in the newspaper for winning $50. What? From a prize out of a cereal box. Captain Crunch, right? Captain Crunch, yep. Golden Globe. They had different no, little, they had different little uh, globes. It was like a glow in the dark one, one that had stickers on it, and then there was a, I don't remember what all those were, but then there was a golden one. If you can find a golden one, you got fifty dollars. So every time she bought a box of uh, Cap'n Crunch cereal, I busted that bitch open. <laughs> and guess what? It worked. Early bird gets the worm. Did you open it from the bottom? No. I and now when you open it, and you stick your hand all yes. the way Bingo. to the bottom of the no, bag. Bingo. Because <laughs> they, the toy always fell to the bottom, and so we would open up the bottom of the of the cereal box to see what toy it was. 
if we wanted it or not, and then if we didn't, we would just let whoever else have it. No, literally, we chose cereal based on the prize. <laughs> and yeah. the prize. Like it was a real thing back yes. then, but now it's not. Now well, it's nothing like that anymore. Nobody, they just look at the cereal and decide whether or not the cereal's good. They yeah, don't you don't have, even read the box yeah. anymore. That used to be a whole thing. Yeah. Reading the box while you uh, were eating it. Yep. They would also have like games and stuff right. on yeah. the boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Color changing spoons. I remember Why the was cereal so things? fun for us? And now it's just drab. No, because not. now they have the internet. Right. Oh, They're right. looking at phones, not yep. boxes. They don't care about. Yep. They yeah. don't care about all that. They give you codes now to put into the phones. Oh yeah, the QR uh, codes. Yep. Hey, cereal was fun. Now that I'm thinking about. No, that. it was fun. A lot of things were fun when we were younger. Yeah. Cartoons. Cartoons on were amazing. With a fresh box of cereal. Yep. That you got a toy out of. You could sit there and play with. I got a question. You always scooped the toy first, right away, before anybody else could get to the toy. That's right. Did you eat a bowl of cereal when you did? You damn right I did. <laughs> you better. You damn right when I, I did. I was growing up. We used to open the box and get the toy and not even eat the cereal. No, no, I no. Didn't no. Even open it no, 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 no. He is an avid cereal. I would eat. I would eat Captain Crunch every day, oh, yeah. all day. Now yeah. there were four of us in that house, and we all ate cereal. Oh yeah. Captain Crunch is rough though. It always gets the roof of my mouth all scratched up. It's kind of harsh. Well, I don't know. You, uh, oh. you get the crunch berries and mm, chef's kiss. <laughs> a boosh, boosh, boosh. <laughs> Are we kissing chefs again? Crunch berries. Wait, so is it all crunch berries? No, no. You like all, the Captain no, no. Crunch, Captain with, crunch the with the crunch berries, yeah. Back yeah. then, they didn't have no, just crunch berries. That's right. right. That's right. And actually, surprisingly, uh, just crunch berries is not as tasty. Yeah, I was a little disappointed in that. But yeah. the oops, all berries. too much of a good thing. Yeah, oops, all berries, I call it. Yeah, too much of a good thing. I'm actually an Apple Jacks fan. Yes. Apple Jacks I love Apple Jacks. They're the greatest. They didn't have any good toys, though. <laughs> no, Apple toys Jacks never crap. did have yeah. I'm not even going to tell you what my favorite cereal is because y'all are all going to make fun of me. Oh, no. Oh, now you have to say Hello it. Kitty or some horrible. I do love Hello Kitty, Kitty, but no, it's actually Raisin Bran Crunch. <laughs> Raisin Bran Crunch. That's good for the system. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's that's the cereal that old people find yeah. that to be their yes. favorites. You're correct. <laughs> Might as well have a large bowl of prune and bran. That's basically what it is. I eat mine with several tablespoons of sugar. I don't. Oh, I do. But now, I also love Lucky Charms, but I can't have them anymore. But I absolutely adore Lucky Charms marshmallows. You marshmallows can, only? Oh, yeah. You can buy, you that, can they, buy they a whole that? bag of marshmallows. Oh, my gosh. You can buy like a four-pound bag of just the Lucky Charms marshmallows. Yeah, but you get the box. cereal so that you're not overloading on the marshmallows. I don't give a shit about no. the cereal part. Instant I just want gratification. The today's, no, instant today's gratification. youth yep. has it all. Even yep. the macaroni and cheese powder. You can buy just the powder. Mm -hmm. Yep. We used to have to throw away noodles to get the powder. Right. <laughs> they don't have popcorn. to do that anymore. Oh, oh, yeah. Back in the day, I used to, well, before they had bagged popcorn, you had to, you know, you cook popcorn in a pot. Right. Like. I used to I used to take I used to take the uh macaroni and cheese, cheese, powdered cheese and pour it over my, yes. my popcorn. But you had to throw away the to, to Yeah, well, I would just leave the box. And Stephanie <laughs> Stephanie would get so mad. That'd be that'd be like five boxes of macaroni noodles. <laughs> and there'd be no cheese anywhere to be found. Did you seal the box back up? <laughs> no, I would just you know have the little clothes tab, I would just close it back. She gets so mad. That was that was good times. Oh, that was good that's times. Awesome. That's it was awesome. like it was a you were a real big jerk. I'm he, just saying. Oh, you think that, you yeah. think that was a jerk? She used to love to play solitaire. Back when it, there were no computers, you actually had to play with cards. So what I would do is I would go to mom and say, "Could you call Reagan in here for some any reason whatsoever?" So she'd do it, call her in. So I would take one card out and I'd just let Reagan play solitaire for like an hour and a half. And then I'd go, "Oh, I, I found this. Do you need this?" Oh. <laughs> She, I, yeah, you used to. Asshole. I remember yeah. you used to think it was so funny, and you were so happy you I did win. it. <laughs> I don't remember that. That must have been one of the childhood what? memories. What? No. I yeah, you must have. See, you oh. and Reagan also used to drink milk out of the jug. Oh my God! I remember we used to get in so much trouble for that. We were tiny though. I mean, not like we weren't like nine drinking it out of the jug. We were like four. You don't remember that sneaking up at night? Everybody what? was in bed, and we just popped that milk jug open, and just take turns. Chris said they used to take golf turns, golfing it, it down. Me? Golfing it down. Yes. I don't even really like milk. That could Maybe be why. Maybe this is why, yeah. I, <laughs> do. I don't know. Who used to eat the ice cream whoa, whoa, that whoa. Stacy would get Calm blamed down. for? Who used to eat the ice cream? That wasn't. Somebody would get up in the middle of the night and eat ice cream, and Stacy got blamed for it every time. Are you sure it wasn't Stacy? No, I'm sure it wasn't her. <laughs> I bet it was your dad. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, he did that. If I, the if, kids get blamed. That's what I would do. Yeah, if if I was a bet man, I'd put it on dad too. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Y'all must have had a hell of a childhood because you talking about four years old drinking milk out of the jug. Yeah, I used to stand in the refrigerator door when I was seventeen drinking <laughs> milk out of the jug. <laughs> he does it now. I still do. I still drink it out of the jug. I have to fuss at him every time. This is why everybody in the house gets sick together because some people can't keep their lips to themselves yes, and use a glass. Yes, I'm a nasty human. I know. <laughs> I'm aware. Wow, that was an un, un, unintended topic. That's bonus bonus coverage. <laughs> cereal, youth cereal. Yep. What is your favorite cereal? Um, I'm just, well, honestly, I like French Toast Crunch, but I can't eat it very often because talk about cut up the top of your mouth. You can't eat for a week. You got skin hanging from the top. Really? Oh my gosh, yes. See, when we were kids, we didn't care about cutting the top of our mouth. Now we old people and we're all of our mouth is all messed up. I don't know what that means. Me neither. If you like, I can search the web for I'm just, well, honestly, I like French <laughs> My phone is talking to me. My phone is talking to me. Oh, and it's saying something that you... Stop! Stop talking to me. Okay. That was weird. It was Siri. Siri felt like she wanted to be on the podcast. Like I've said for the past three times, why be professional? Let's just wing this. Yeah, yeah. We'll just, no need we'll just go. I don't think there's any control in Siri, though. You know? No. I didn't even say something. You said something, and she started recording you yep. and spitting it back. Yep. Crazy. So French toast, I've never had French toast crunch. Yeah, I, I do love it, but it kills me, so I really don't. I only buy it maybe three times a year because I forget how bad it hurts. Wow. <laughs> and then I, Can you let it, like, get wow. soggy in it? No, no, I don't let cereal get soggy. It's disgusting. Oh, yeah, that's, I like to do that, me. Yeah. I'll let it sit for five minutes before I eat it. Because why are you putting milk on it if there's no milk in the cereal? I put as little milk as I have to. Thank you. Mm-hmm. There's nothing left to drink when I'm finished. I don't drink cereal milk. No, like there's Unless nothing it's apple left. Because yeah. I literally just poured enough to eat. Myself. Unless it's Apple Jacks, then I'll drink Apple Jack milk. Y'all are missing out. The best part of a cereal bowl is drinking the milk. Drinking the milk. Drinking the milk. You're That's kidding correct. me? That's correct. What's your favorite, Chris? Cap- uh, cinnamon. Uh, We've already discussed it. Oh, it is? That's your favorite? Yes, I thought that my... wasn't your favorite. No, that is my favorite. Yeah. I thought Fruity Pebbles was your favorite. No. No, I... oh, I'm a Fruity Pebble fan myself. He is too. I don't know why he's acting like he's not. The only problem with Fruity Pebbles is the next day. Because the <laughs> toilet looks like a <laughs> rainbow, boy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Technicolor. <laughs> yeah. So what's our next topic? Yeah, I think I think, uh, I, think we beat, I think we beat the cereal thing yeah, into the ground. we definitely right? run this one through well, its course. Well, I didn't course, want Frankie to be left out. She was the only one that didn't say anything about her favorite cereal. Well, uh, yeah, I wasn't right. feeling left right. out, but thanks for including right. me. Okay, now you get to rant about your uh, kids in line. Uh, yeah, in so line. today was a wonderful day for me because it was the last first day of public school in this house, and uh, we are so excited. Um, but it made me remember back to when I used to have to go pick up my children from school. Uh, at one point they were in three different schools, so it would be three trips a day. And it always dumbfounded me to see these parents in line an hour before dismissal, an hour before dismissal. So they could be the first in line yet their kids never came out the building first and they'd be waiting 10 minutes anyway. So let me sit in my car for an hour and 10 minutes and wait for my kid to be picked up. Or I could just leave my house, like literally at the time school gets out and I'll make it right through the line (laughs) in no time flat. Like how do these people have so much time? I really did not get it. And I had to be at school a little bit early because my daughter was in a wheelchair and and, um, I had some handicapped kids. They got out a little earlier. So I did have to go early for that reason. But I didn't get there any earlier than I needed to be there. It, it, that has always dumbfounded me how long people will wait in a parked car when they could just do whatever they want during that time and save more than half that time by just leaving later. Yeah, but you, if, you're a, if you're a mom, if you're a stay-at-home mom and dad's at work making the money and you're taking care of the children which don't get me wrong that's not i'm not saying that's not a job that is a job it's a very important job in fact 
but if you're a stay-at-home mom, you have to justify your employment. You know, so you have to say, I had to sit in the car line for two hours today picking up your children, you dirty bastard. <laughs> so that's probably why they do that. Because you don't have to do that. You can just let the kid walk home from school. <laughs> that's what I used to do when I was in school. I had to walk to and from, and it was five miles both directions uphill in the snow with no shoes. Or a coat. So that's why I don't have kids, so I don't have to <gasps> worry I don't have to worry about these types of no things. Truer words have been spoken. Yeah. So. I wouldn't sit there. We did do that though. We did sit in the line for two hours quite a few times. Well, the only time we had to sit in line was like when our kids were in elementary school, the junior high and the high school got out thirty minutes before. So we picked them up and then had to go wait in line at the high school because there was nowhere else to go. We we but now if we could go to the store or something, we would hurry up and do that. But literally, that was the only thing left to do. We did it because we had to, not because we wanted to. So, what are you suggesting as an alternative? Whose fault are these car lines? The parents who have nothing better to do with their time. Well, how do they know when their kid is going to be getting released as opposed to other people's kids? So should they line themselves up in the line in the proper order? If my kid never is the first one to come out, there is literally no reason for me to be first in line. If I have to wait 10 minutes after the bell rings because my kid is lollygagging in the hallway talking to their friends, why was I there at 2 o'clock when school gets out at 3? That is just stupid. Oh. That kid needs to learn. Sometimes you got to wait on me. So you don't have a solution to the problem. You're just saying that it's a problem. No, I'm telling the parents to <laughs> stop waiting in line for a freaking hour. That is the solution. Got you. Stop waiting in line. Don't be a part of the problem. Be a part of the solution. That's right. I like it. I like the plan. You could also not be part of the problem by not having uh, 17 kids Ooh. that you have to take to school. Is that you? You already be done with taking kids to school. She's done. Well, my kid takes herself to school now, so. So why are you complaining? Yeah, yeah. No, I she's was remembering that. Oh, oh, and I'm going to tell excuse you why, me. because <laughs> when I had a child in high school in a wheelchair and therefore had to park pretty close to the front door where the ramp was, mm -hmm. and I had to go around all kind of freaking cars, who were waiting for high school kids, mind you, just to be able to... Yeah. get to where I needed to be to pick up my handicapped child, like, that's a pain in the butt, you know? And sometimes I had to go down the wrong way because the cars were blocking the buses and I couldn't get around because I wasn't getting there an hour early. Heard. Yep. Uh-huh. Gotcha. So you could always just pick up your phone and watch TikTok challenges if you're in the line, you know? That's the TikTok challenges where... I we think that's how they became so popular. That's just because people are just doing it while they're in the car line. That's it. That's what, that's what that's happened. That's it. That's how TikTok grew. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I can believe some of these idiot parents are doing those challenges. I can tell you that. Mm. All I know is every day I wake up and I think, no kids, best decision I ever made. You think so? Oh, yeah. yes. You know what the best part about not having kids is? I mean, sure, I, I'm sure some people will say uh, it's the freedom. Yeah. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the money you save, but for me that's not it. For me, not having kids, the best part is looking at people who do have kids and then thinking to myself, "You dumb bastards! Don't you know how to raise kids? I could have done a much better job if I had wanted to." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Monday, Monday, armchair quarterback. That's what you are. Yep. Yes, yes, definitely. I wish that you could tell me that you could do a better job because I'm a lot of times I'm thinking. I am not doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing a terrible job at this whole parenting thing. This shit is hard. <laughs> but the fact that you think that you're doing a horrible job means that you care if you're doing a bad job or not. I do, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm still terrible <laughs> at it, right? You're not terrible, just at, terrible. at it at all. Well, you know, they say seventh time's a charm, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to tell y'all this. So, first day of school for my 17-year-old today, her senior year, and she tells us that they are no longer allowed to eat outside at lunch. <laughs> and I said, oh, really? Why is that? And she looks at me and says, so we don't get shot. <laughs> that was her 
actual response to that. I, was, I heard it happen. shit. Yeah. Right? Why can't you eat outside anymore? Oh, just so we don't get shot. <laughs> Straight <laughs> so, face. So you people that are going serious. outside are getting shot. <laughs> It's scary so, the, out there. so now this year, all clear bags. Everything has to be clear, mm -hmm. and including if you go into the office and you bring a purse, it better be clear, or you can't bring your purse in there. You know, they all go through metal detectors now. Most of them have cops on the school premises or whatever. But yeah, they are no longer allowed to eat outside for the fear of getting shot. Do teachers have to have clear bags too? Well, I don't know, because I try not to go to school. To be fair, this was a 17-year-old's response when asked why she couldn't eat outside. She really doesn't know that that's the answer. She just says, oh, so we don't get shot. Well, you right? say that, but you never know I'm what sure they're that telling I'm sure she them. wasn't told that you can't go eat outside because <laughs> you're going to get shot if you do. I don't know. Have you sure ever uh, looked at the television? Have you ever intercom? watched news? Okay, let me remind him a few years ago of the time when people were making threats at Berwick High School. And there were cops there for like a week straight because they were threatening to shoot up kids at school outside. We so eight thousand nine hundred and five. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't have kids. Yeah. yeah. Well, this so, is this is an excellent segue into uh, my favorite internet topic, which is Fafo. 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 Speaking of things that uh, old people don't know what it means. <laughs> right. For those of you out there who are as old as we are, he's, he's it. calling it's, me old. You hear him doing that. Right? Well, Faithful. So <laughs> oh, Faithful is F A F O, which stands for "fuck around and find out." That means uh, it's a video of a criminal. But well, wouldn't it be F A A F O? I think they're considering "fuck around" to be one word. Possibly. Oh, it's just one word. <laughs> All right, my bad. I wasn't spelling. I well, wasn't spelling it right. You must have been thinking about spelling it cursive. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, because I did speak in cursive. So I, so I just happen to, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, thing that happened recently at 7-Eleven in Stockton. But, but first, Stockton, let, California. Yes. But first, let me tell you the video I watched right before I came over here tonight. Okay. Which is, uh, there's a YouTube channel called Active Self Protection, which is just a bunch of faithful videos, basically, is all it is. I love it. Yes. I love it. They actually show people get killed, so that's why I like it so much. So I mean, oh it's not God. like it's not like uh, just it's not just your typical Fafo. He took a boot to the ass. It's Fafo. He learned his lesson permanently. Well, that's so, a little black. So uh, or so, dark. Well, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a little dark. It is a little dark, but I love it. So so the video I watched, I can't remember. It was in another country, like Argentina or something. So there's uh, it's like a Seven Eleven. And there's a you know there's a group of people there, there's this big ass dude buying like ice cream or a coke some shit like that you know, well these two guys walk in to rob the place so they walk in one of them pulls a gun, sticks it at the cashier's face so the big ass guy, uh, the person who's uh, showing the video said he was known around town as being the baddest motherfucker in town. So I, I don't know if the guy that was robbing the store just didn't know who he was or he wasn't from town or what but so he's in there so that guy like. Cool. Yeah, he's not one of the robbers. No, no, he's not one of the robbers. He's just, just a just patron. One of the he's local just a patron. Guys yep. That everybody knows to be a bad dude. Right. Okay. So as soon as he sees the guys robbing the place, what does he do? He just calmly puts his ice cream back in the cooler, right? He he waits for his chance. The guy puts the for some reason he puts the gun down to his side, and uh, so he just walks up, grabs the fucking gun out of the guy's hand, puts his puts his arm around the guy's neck, has a few words with him. The guy jumps over the counter, and uh. The clerk holds his arms together, and he's like, well, now you got to learn your lesson. Now, now you're going to fade for And he just starts fucking clocking him. I mean, just clocking him, knocks him unconscious, beats the, I mean, just beats the pills out of him. The, the clerk finally lets him kind of drop to the ground. You just see blood just pouring out of his face. His sidekick that was with him was like, you know what? I'm out. He yeah, just he fucking left. runs out. Yeah. yeah. So, the, so the guy that beats him up <laughs> takes his gun, puts it in his pocket, walk, take, gets the shit he was going to buy, walks out. Just calmly yep. strolls out. Yep, that's it. Job well done. Right. <laughs> yep. Jeez, Off please. into the sunset like the Lone Ranger. Yep. <laughs> Love it. So, that's awesome. So the video that's been going viral lately um, in Stockton, California, 7-Eleven, this guy, which the, everybody's saying is homeless, but that's I guess that's irrelevant. He, he walks in with a big trash can. Well, I thought he took the trash can. Oh, he took the trash can, can yeah, from the place? Okay, so, so okay. Well, when the video can. starts, he's already got the trash can. Yeah, so, sure, okay, sure. he's got a trash can that's empty. 
Right. Big, big giant trash can. He walks behind the counter and just starts throwing cigarettes off the shelf, right? And filling up that, that trash can. So yes. the two these two clerks are back there and they're saying, hey, you know, stop robbing us. <laughs> you know? Right. And the guy's like, I gotta, I, I'm strapped. I'm strapped. And he, and he reaches back in his pocket and he pulls something out, which when you watch the video, clearly is not a gun. I don't know what it yeah. was, but he was telling me it was like a, a gun. Like a pencil or something. Yeah, something, something stupid. Yeah. So he's pretending like he's got a gun. So uh, there's so the guy that's recording the video is a customer. And uh, it's it's kind of funny because the guy's robbing him and he goes, hey, man, can I get some swishes? <laughs> like, yeah, he's telling right. me, like... Yeah, you know, at, like, at first when the video begins and he's narrating, right, he's yeah. saying, hey, can give me some of these and give me some sweets. Right, yeah. Right, and give me this because he's on the side of the dude who's just taking stuff. Right. And he's like, what y'all going to do? Y'all can't do nothing. Y'all can't do nothing. You calling the cops? Did you call the cops already? So he's he's actually feels like he's on that dude's team at first, right? And then it turns. Yeah, I mean, he's t- yeah, it's weird. He's telling the clerk, "There's nothing you can do. I hope you have insurance. Right. Just let him steal." Well, I'm thinking, him let him have do insurance. It, right? Because he has insurance, what? right? Yeah. So, so the two clerks decide they're not putting up with this anymore. So they make you can tell they make a plan because one of the clerks just calmly walks past the perp. You know, and he goes against this big ass stick, which uh, several people said was a, a mop handle. But when I look at that video, it does not. I've never seen a mop with a handle that thick. Yeah. So whatever. The, uh, so maybe that was a you stealing my cigarette stick. I don't commercial know. Commercial mops. Yeah. I think it's some, a dust mop big handle. Wooden handle. So yeah. So he grabs the the handle, and then so then when the guy starts to walk away, the other clerk grabs hold of him, and then and then the customer saying, no, 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 don't do it. Don't just let him go. Just let him go. But they're not feeling it, so they they grab him, and then that guy whacks him in the shoulder with a stick, and the guy realizes he has faith hold, but it's too late. So so he starts crying like a bitch. They, one guy holds him down, the other one just starts proceeding to wail on him. I mean, hitting him in his knee, in his shins, his foot. He starts crying like a six-year-old girl, saying, you know, please stop, please stop, which I would have responded, when I asked you to please stop, you right. ignore it, so right. I'm going to do the same. I'll just That's figured correct. up, you know. So, so they, uh, the best part to me is when they flip him over on his stomach and they just start fucking caning his ass, you know? <laughs> that's when and, the guy goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's when, starting, that's when the customer's like, this is what you call getting your ass whooped. <laughs> so, so, they, uh, so they proceed to, to wail on, like, over two dozen times he fucking whacks him with that stick. I mean, and not holding back either. You can hear it a couple of times. Pow, I don't know how he didn't break his legs. So eventually the customer convinces him, okay, he's had enough. I'm going to get him out of here. So when he finally gets the guy up and they start walking out, you know that bass that actually had the nerve to say, "Can I get a soda?" Yeah. And, and yeah. you can't see it on the video, but the um, <laughs> one the clerk with the stick must have said, "Like, oh, what? You want a soda? I got one. It's well flavored. Let me give you a taste." Because you can see him. Because the customer like, "Whoa, whoa, just wait, just wait, just wait." And I'm thinking to myself, man, some people don't learn that lesson. He just took a whooping with a huge ass stick. You know his legs are gonna be. Oh my God, bruised. Oh, he probably got yeah. fractures, or, you know. Spurs yeah, and all yeah. Kind of and, and then had the nerve to ask for a soda, which led yeah, me said, to. Be- he said, "Can I get a soft drink?" Yeah, which led <laughs> me to believe that he didn't take enough wax. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, so if, or he was just desperate. Oh well, sometimes maybe so. You, maybe sometimes so. Sometimes you feel like, hey man, I took all that beating. At least yeah, I at least get, get a soda. Well, maybe that was it. <laughs> so they get him out. They get him out, and uh, now they're looking at, uh, I guess, the DA is uh, looking at pressing charges against the clerks mm-hmm. for whooping his ass. Right. For, for stealing. Defending their for stealing. Yeah, for stealing. But it's the third Which time that the that guy's it done it at that store. It's the third that's, time Yeah, that's what they said. They yeah, said it's they the third, third time they robbed them. Well, I, I, well, that's California. Well, you know, that's true. That's California. California. Is a bunch of yep. idiots. I mean, that's the way they do. Protect the criminal and arrest the yep. law, law-abiding citizens. That's how they do it in California. We just need one good earthquake. Oh, boy. Come on, San Andreas Fault. Yep. <laughs> and you know, there's a large percentage of Democrats that want Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, to run for president because he's done such a good job in California. Really? They wanted to. They wanted to. Let's be talk this. about. No, let's not talk about. <laughs> we were going to talk about the job Gavin Newsom has not done in California, but we're not going to talk about it. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait because uh, he's actually going to debate Ron DeSantis for some reason that I really can't understand why those two are going to debate why? each other. But uh, like, Gavin Newsom trying to. Is he, yeah, exactly. Is he trying? Well, because to... the Democrats don't want Joe Biden no. to run. No, they literally don't because right. he don't even know where he's at. Right. That dude. So maybe his yeah, may... diapers get changed daily. Like right. he legitimately has no no clue anymore. Yeah, maybe maybe the plan is uh, he does the debate. If he thinks if he does well, then people will start to say maybe we need to push Joe Biden aside. I don't know, but I don't understand why DeSantis is debating him because he's not the. 
you know, Gavin Newsom is not DeSantis' opponent right now, so I don't know why he would. I don't know. So I don't know. We'll see. Oh, well, that's that might be the direction they want to go. Well, you maybe. Know? Yeah, maybe. I know the Democrats don't want Joe, Uncle Joe, Papa Sleepy Joe. They don't want him anymore. Right. Because we don't want him either. I'm glad that they don't want him, but they want anybody that's not Trump. No, that's exactly right. You and know, it's it, yeah, it's bizarre. I mean, they interview people on the street and they say, uh, you know. Joe Biden done a good job. Yep. Can you name anything good he's done? Nope. No. And so then they say, uh, well, you know, I'd rather vote for Joe Biden than uh, Trump. It's like you'd rather have a president with dementia Mm -hmm. than one who has mean tweets. Is that what you're telling me? Right. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. One that can't even ride a bicycle. Right. One that can't. He falls upstairs. Right. Who does that? Legitimately, the man is gone. Didn't they have to change the steps for Air Force One because he kept on falling down there? No, they. Uh, he doesn't take. No, there's two sets of steps to Air Force One. There's a the long one that we mm-hmm. always see the presidents taking, you know, stopping, getting pictures mm-hmm. taken and stuff. And then there's a shorter one that leads like into the belly of the plane. And that's that's what he's taking that's, out. That's what he's taking out because it's less steps. Yeah, <laughs> well, I can see. Him. I wouldn't be surprised if Kamala is behind some of these falls though, because he <laughs> spoke at a graduation. And there was literally a sandbag in the middle of the ground for him to trip on. Like, that is literally Secret Service's job to make sure there's nothing in his way. She's, you think no, she's trying no. to take him out so First she of can all, be in charge? I mean, I'm just saying. saying. I, would, I would think that that was a good theory except for one thing. She's not smart enough to think of that. No. There is no possible way she could come up with that plan. No. She has. Well, she it didn't also work, no so. You, every question that anybody oh. has ever asked her. It's just followed by laughter. Yeah, that's the only thing she does. Uh, yeah, in all she interview. does is repeat words. She picks yeah. a couple of words, repeats like, "Outer space yeah. is full of space," <laughs> which is why we call it space. <laughs> and then she'll laugh. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Peasants. Yep. Yeah. Could you imagine that's if Joe so Biden crazy. died today, and she would be our president tomorrow? God did, help us. Would you? It's worse all the way down the line, you know. Yeah, I mean, at that point, I would be like, man, having a president of dementia wasn't a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. We would have to go all the way to Kevin McCarthy before, you know. And I don't was, even. I don't and then even then, I'm not. I'm not yeah. impressed either no, way. No. So. Well, it's just a couple more weeks, and we have the first debate. So that's gonna tell the tale, I think. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully. I think we're screwed, but. Yep. No matter what happens. It's so hard to come out of the hole that we're in right now. Yeah, everyone's corrupt, so, I mean, it doesn't even matter, really. And there's a lot of questions about, you know, what do we do before inflation goes back down? What makes you think it's going back down? Inflation has never in history gone down. Yeah. Ever. It never goes down. It only goes one way. Yeah, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard anybody ask. That's the dumbest question ever. Yep. Once the companies realize they can charge you this much money and still get paid for it, even if the general cost of their production goes down, they're still charging you that same amount of money. It's not ever going back. That's right. It's never going back. In fact, there's, there's a recording of them saying <laughs> that they're never they're never going to take the prices back sure. down. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, Actually, they're your $8 a dozen eggs, yep. they're not ever going right. to be $4 again. That's right. Never. It's never going to happen. I have the solution. I mean, the solution is simple. It's go back to the gold standard because then they can't print money that they don't have gold to back up. So there is no inflation. Yeah, now, Nixon, he fucked us on that. That was one thing he truly fucked us on, taking us off well, the gold standard. But the Federal Reserve is a whack yeah. job. Yes, it's, it's all it's, it's pure duty. Pure crooked. duty. Every bit of it. Yep. Anyway. Yeah. All right. So we're getting toward the end here. So let me go ahead and throw out my. Uh, oh, you got my a movie. You got a movie. Rec- I got to do my movie, movie, movie recommendation. Movie, yeah. What is it? Well, oh. you're about to find out. Oh, I know you're what about it is. to find hey, out. Before you do the movie, mm-hmm. I thought that my wife would like to just introduce a random thought of the day. Oh, okay. Let's do it. (laughs) So tell me one of your, just one, just give me one random thing that you think about during the day that is just silly. Oh, okay. (laughs) So um, if you make a major um, appearance change, do your pets recognize that you made this change? (laughs) So your dog. You sit around and think about whether or not your dog knows that you got a haircut. That's what you were saying? Right. <laughs> like, do they n- notice that I got a haircut or are they just staring at me thinking, something is different about you today? 
Yeah, I, I just, I'm very curious. Mom's well, looking fresh. Well, would you like me to tell you the answer? Because I know it. <laughs> oh, he knows the answer. Oh, yeah. He okay. is the you dog yeah, you should, That's it. I'm in touch with nature. You should have just asked me. So you get your hair cut. You come in. The dog sees you and thinks to himself, oh, look, you got a haircut. Now, where's my bacon flavored treats, bitch? <laughs> So he doesn't really know. Yeah, no, he knows because he just doesn't care. I grew up with this. Yeah. Nothing new for me. All right, movie time. Okay, all right, so here we go. So uh, this one is going to be a thriller, all right? I'm trying, to oh. throw, trying to throw uh, thriller, a new your, genre, a different your, genre. So, genre it is. Yep. So, okay, this movie is called Cold in July. It was made in 2014. It stars Michael C. Hall of Dexter fame, Sam Shepard, and Don Johnson, okay. Ooh, Miami yeah, Vice. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And <laughs> Kurt Russell's son. Kurt Russell's son. Oh, is that that guy's Kurt Russell? Wyatt Russell. Son? Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Wow. Well, apparently, Wyatt Ooh. Russell was. Uh, well, I was focusing on the main. Song. I didn't know Kurt Russell had a son. So there we go. Hooray! Now we're all enlightened. So, <clears throat> the plot of the movie is uh. It starts off, a, a man is, uh, it's the middle of the night, he hears a noise, he gets woken up. Realizes someone's in his house. So he gets up, checks, make sure his uh, small son is okay, loads his gun, sees the intruder, shoots him. All right? So uh, the police officer investigating the incident let him know that uh, this criminal's dad has just gotten out of jail and he's not going to be too happy that his son was shot. So... What happens is the dad wants some revenge for his, for his son getting shot. So what I love about this movie is you think, okay, this is a revenge movie. They're going to have to worry about the dad. And at first, that's what's happening. And then it starts to take some t- twists and turns that you do not see coming. Oh. There's, like three, there's like three plot twists that just come out of nowhere, which are pretty good. And uh, it leads to a nice little uh, action sequence at the end, some shooting, some violence, which I'm always a fan of. What? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. So you just you we that's why I would I'm stumbling because I would swear that somewhere around episode one he said that movies are not just about explosions and shooting and violence. Well, does it have titties? Uh, does it have titties? I think it does. I think there's a short scene with a couple oh. of titties. Yeah. Right. What's the name of this movie again? Yeah. I have to put it Cold on. Cold in July. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's it's. But the titties are not that kind of. Uh, it's not. Yeah. I, is it titties or do you see her titties or is it just? I don't remember. Uh, I, I don't remember either. Yeah. Well, but, clearly they were memorable well, titties. Well, no, no, because that's not yeah. wasn't the focus oh, of the we scene. Can we say the word titties a few more times? Well, look, <laughs> maybe we it's been my, popular it's just been, based on the word. It's titties. been my experience that titties <laughs> are a good way to become popular. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so we're just gonna say the word over and over again, and we will get rich. We could titties. actually, we could actually name this episode titties. Titties. <laughs> titties for all. In fact. We will name this episode Titties. <laughs> episode 3. Titties. Episode 3 is called Titties. <laughs> so the name of your movie is not called Titties. No, no, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. You just have to tune in to find out. No, it's it cold? cold in July. Cold, cold in July. Cold in July. Yes, yes. A nice, right, well, a we'll nice give that suspenseful a thriller. For sure. yep. Okay, is that it? We're rounding up now. I think don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Comment down below. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have the subscribe button quite yet. We said that last week, but we don't have enough people for us to subscribe. I want them to hit all the buttons. Just hit all the buttons. And then send us some emails and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just don't hit delete. (laughs) Delete? That's not one of the buttons. I don't know. You don't offer that button. You just said hit (laughs) all the buttons. You're in. I don't want you to hit delete if that's a button. Yeah. Like and subscribe and and follow and the notifications all of those things you know we we we, we want to keep you around that's it yep we need to we need we won't plan on doing this for quite a while all right yeah big dog out that's it see you next week <laughs>